What's up YouTube, my name is Julian. I am a professional musician and a studio guitar player who excites easily. And today I'm gonna be reacting to more of Undertale's amazing soundtrack. To be more precise, to some boss themes. And also to a couple of themes of the soundtrack of the game Delta Rune. And it seems Delta Rune is, um, I don't know if a sequel, but a game Bobby Fox created after Undertale. Is it more or less successful than Undertale was? I don't know, but is the OST better or worse? You let me know about that in the comment section. This video is actually a patron request by my patron Iron Guns in the founder tier. You can find the link of my Patreon page in the description below if you want to support my channel directly or even start making your crazy custom requests once a month as Irgans did. And you guys told me in the comment section of my first time reacting to Undertale soundtrack, Megalovania and Skelbros themes, this guy is actually not only the composer, programmer, but the overall creator of this game. You have to be a fucking genius to create a game by yourself and succeed in every aspect, gameplay wise, the music, maybe the sound design, I don't know, even the graphics. Because even if this is not a fully fledged AAA game, some of us really fancy this retro-ish aesthetic and or animation and or visuals. As always, feel free to comment, like and subscribe so I can do more videos a day and get even more insane with even crazier reactions. And well, let's cut the small talk and let's get actually into this. We have a spider dance and it's pretty obvious that it, well, this boss is a spider. Oh, oh what a trip there. Doom. Okay, pedal point directly from back. What's going on, bro? Yes, sir. The repetition of the A section. Mm, okay, it seems that wow, 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 wow. It seems that we have a main section divided into two subsections you can call it like that and the first section is a little bit more joyful and energetic well not actually both sections are quite energetic both subsections are quite energetic but the second part of this main section is really dope because the influence of classical or even better baroque music and johann sebastian bach's influence is noticeable with the pedal point which is a melodic pattern that consists in having one note and developing a melody that is constantly returning to that note that t is the pedal note the pedal point and the other notes you can listen to them are all different that's you see And underlying there, we had the wow, we had the first section of this being played, but now in the background, it's the same melody from the first part, but now it's a comping. This one, yeah, yeah, the one with the triplet, little dumb. What is it? Oh, it's not actually the same, but it uses the same triplet. Wow! <laughs> wow, 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 what is this? New timbre, new tone? It was like a neoclassical guitar solo. Wow. This is crazy, man. Okay, interesting arpeggios here with this telephonic tone. 
da 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 oh okay wow do you know what it makes me think or feel or whatever that crazy chromatic fall it's like a spider getting down from its from its silk you know do -do 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 it's going down and then a little bit up and then a little bit down but a little bit further than before interesting exactly oh okay variation there <laughs> this is crazy it sounds like Water splashes. Well, I don't know, bro. I'm I'm crazy, okay? Oh yes, sir. Oh, and now it ends fading out. Really dope. Really funny. <laughs> Vim. Let's see. Death by glamour. Oh, <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> Oh, 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 I love this piano, bro. It's so syncopated. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Death by Glamour, more like death in a fancy disco. Oh, oh, I dig this so much. This crazy synthesizers, bro. Oh. Wow! Tommy Fox, you're insane, bro! The articulation, bro! The, the, oh. the staccato, it adds so much taste to this. This is tasty as fuck! You listen to this tip tip kind of cutted notes. They are not they are not on its full length. This articulation is called a staccato and it's great. Oh. Tommy Fox thought about everything. Oh, oh, I fancy this. This has to be hell of a boss. Really dope and entertaining to fight. Okay, B section. Under bridge. Bro, this is like house music a little bit. But better. <laughs> Interesting. Um, da, da, da. It has another chromatic pattern, descending pattern. What? Was this a modulation or? I think so. Wow, now it's kind of happy, kind of even wholesome. <laughs> Tommy Fox, this man is a master of motifs. In these ones, well, he's he isn't relying that much only on motifs as he did in the scale bro themes, but he is still developing little minimalistic motifs that are included in the huge great melodies he is creating. <laughs> You see, that was an example. Ah! Oh. oh, that. It has vibrato and, and everything! God bless vibrato. Wow. We now have Asgore theme, and again, it's pretty obvious this one is Asgore, and okay, <laughs> it looks like a really buffed. And powerful boss 
And this dip is kind of longer. Let's see. Oh, oh. counter melodies. This sounds like an anime, bro. Oh, yes, sir. Now bring in the action. Bro, it is actually beautiful. <laughs> wow, the form of the instrumentation, bro. Wow, you see, okay. Oh, I love this. I love this kind of resource. It uses, or he uses, the same motif. Right? But after two bars, he changes the chord, but leaves the same motifs with the same notes. That's beautiful. Wow, we have even like a crazy 8 bitish choir or 16 bitish choir. And I think that in the previous section we had some symphonic percussion also. Wow. There are quite some layers of instruments here. Oh. Okay. Bro, this shit is played by a human. You cannot fool me. It's so expressive. Ah. A beautiful and calm piano interlude. Give it always to me. Oh. <laughs> The bass, bro. Listen to the bass. It's crazy. <gasps> oh, bro. Oh, the amount of activity between the melody and the bass. Oh. Oh, this is epic, bro. <laughs> I would fight these bosses every time. Bring them to me. I need to play these as soon as possible. It's insane. I'm even more excited than I was the first time I reacted to the Scale Bros themes. And I'm telling you, this theme may be better for me than Megalovania is actually. OST 98. Battle against a true hero, bro. Okay. Very interesting. Listen to the bass. Doing quarter notes. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Bro, this freaking bass is overstimulating as fuck. The underlying melody is beautiful. Mom. Oh, oh, bro, bro, I'm including this in my workout routine, I'm telling you, right away, bro, bass is even sicker than a real bass is, 
What is this game even about at this point? Uh. Interesting Mega Man each sound there. It's interesting because we have the same motive underlying through all the song. It's the foundation of the song. And from that, the song starts to build up with a lot of resources. It's crazy. Even minimalistic resources as the underlying melody I told you before. Wow. Sounds like a violin. Hell point. Okay. It does sound more uh, more rogue. Oh, <laughs> the classic synthesizer from vintage games. Let's go. Interesting. See, that's another resource that Toby is using a lot. Using a melody, but in different contexts, with different instruments and our intentions. We had the same melody before in a beautiful piano interlude. Right? But now we have the full band, the 16 bit band. And it's beautiful. Now it's a context of action. An adventure and we have more instruments the format increased wow I think even there another instrument was added to the melody bro Beautiful arpeggios playing alongside the bass with 16th notes. That was insane. Who the fuck is Toby Fox, bro? I need to Google him. Where did he come from? Now I will continue with Root Buster. Not only the original, but one that Iron Guns requested. The remix. From Camellia, Ca Carnelia, something like that. We'll see later. Let's first listen to the original. Let's see the difference in Toby's decision making when doing this. <laughs> oh, you see? Oh, it's kind of funky, Latin fusion. Wow! Bro, I cannot get over that drift! Oh, it is soft. Developing of motive. Variation? Yes, sir. Oh! 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 Oh. Bro, bro, I'm down to a party with this shit. I'm down. <laughs> wow, wow, this shit is like a beautiful long ass solo. Wow, 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 wow. The amount of musical quality is on this shed. It's up to It's amazing. Bro. <laughs> I love you, Toby. Now we have... <sighs> now we have... Broadbuster Camellia or Camellia Remix. It's much longer. 
Oh, let's see. I'm down. Interesting intro with a guitar with a wombi bar. Oh, I'm picking up a guitar with a wah pedal. Let's go. Bro, this is even more overstimulated than before. Sir, the melody, right? Wow, this is like hardcore techno blended with Poppy Fox. The piano blue. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. For progression going on, yes sir. Bro, this is like drugs. The stream mix is a fucking drug. Oh. Interesting variation there. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> it got you. Oh. oh, bro, it has a lot in flavor to it. Well, it's official. I cannot understand shit in this part. That part was just random noise. Oh, thank you very much. I needed this. Piano solo, and it's really jazzy as fuck. Let's go. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, sir. The essence of Toby Fox remains in here. Let's go. So Mesner marching there. Uh huh. Kick drum. Wow! Metal chorus section with breakdowns, with melodic singing. The riff is underlined there with another harmony though. Wow. Variation of the melody from the B section. Oh, my brain bro.
but you didn't have to go this hard. Uh huh. A crazy. Wow, sin solo. Yes, sir. The in Camellia, bro, you didn't have to go this hard on this one. Literally, you didn't have to because your musicianship is outstanding and the talent and amount of hours you have put in your musicianship, again, in your performance. I don't know if you actually played those instruments or what kind of remix this is, you know, like a DJ sampling or stuff, which I doubt. But it was really overstimulating at the point it was annoying at the point in some parts I was only listening to senseless noise in the synth solo the solo was tainted with the freaking noise of the overstimulation it was over the top for me this is just my opinion I have mixed thoughts about this I loved many many things about this remix like the solos, bro, the piano section, the piano interlude, that was, I think, my favorite section because of the contrast it provided. But this shit is highly overstimulating. It shouldn't be legal, it's a drug. I'm just kidding there, it's a great product. But I think that with a little bit less of crazy noises, of agglomeration of sounds, it would have been better because it was not understandable at some point. And you are more than good enough to not overuse that oversaturation almost all the time. But that's just my opinion. Some of you will find this absolutely incredible. Your favorite, the best shit you have ever listened to. And that's okay also. Also, another thing I didn't tell you about the remix is that we lost the relevance the huge role that the main keyboard riff had the which is really latinish and i love it that's one of the biggest cons the remix had for me for including so much shit we lost the riff and we only had snippets of it we only had like and after that and finally, we have Delta Rune Attack of the Killer Queen. If you got this far on the video, you have my gratitude. Let me know what is your favorite song of this video. Even better, let me know if you prefer Root Buster's original version or the remix. Let's see, Attack of the Killer Queen, what do you have for me? <laughs> see? Okay. Okay. Dip it in. Wow. Wow, this has like a solemn sensation. Or emotion to it. Okay, rich. Oh, this one sounded kind of Castlevania ish. Okay, okay, okay. Killer Queen. Is that like a Hapsi chord? Like tone, yeah? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what a soundscape. It sounded quite evil.
Bro, there are many layers of instruments. The kind of walking bass, bro. Dum 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 dee dum dum dum. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say that this one is not as good as the boss themes of Undertale. Well, not everyone because we had some great Undertale's boss themes today. Not everyone was like top, top, top tier. But uh, yeah, I was gonna say that, but that last section with the walking bass got me. It was really dope, actually. Let me actually Google who the fuck is this guy. It seems he, it seems he may be self-thought. I don't know. You let me know. What do you know about Toby? How did he learn to compose music like this? Maybe he's one of those people that were self-thought. And it's just genius overall. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Let me know your music requests in the comments below.